hi everyone welcome back to my channel how are you all doing merry christmas and happy new year in advance i hope you guys are having a nice holiday with your family so in today's video i'm going to show you how i make my gravy or you can call it fry sauce for jollof rice or maybe you have fry fish you want to mix with tomato uh, with pepper sauce or fry meat or fry chicken or fry turkey this is how i make it and i would like to share with you guys especially jollof rice so if you want to see how i make it please watch the video to the end to find out So guys, look, my pepper, can you guys see, water is dry kind of, it's time to paste, can you guys see, and I'm going to leave it a bit more to dry. So guys, this is my pot. I'm going to add my vegetable oil. This is just normal vegetable oil. Can you guys see? It's just normal vegetable. You can use any oil of your choice. Maybe sunflower, granite oil, or this thing, olive oil. Any oil of your choice. I like using vegetable oil for my cooking. So I'm going to allow this to get hot. While it's getting hot, I'm going to go and chop my onions. So guys, I have two onions I'm going to chop. So guys, I'm going to show you guys my tomato paste. This is the tomato paste I'll be using. You can use any tomato paste of your choice, but this is the brand I normally use, Erika. It's very good. I've used it for years. I like it. I like the taste. I like the texture. I like how it tastes to my food, the color, everything. Okay. I'll be using Aromant. If you don't have Aromant, you can use some for taste 
or any other seasoning you normally use to cook your food. I have curry powder, I have thyme, this is dry thyme, I have a uh, maggi, um, I have no, this is peel, no peel. And then so you can use any seasoning cube of your choice. This is the one I'm using. So now I'm going to add my onions. The oil is hot. So I'm going to add my dry thyme. Curry powder. Make sure you add all this spice, all this um, curry, thyme inside the onions with the oil. If you do that, it brings out the flavor more. You add it before adding the tomato paste. This is the tomato paste. I've already opened it. I'm just going to add it now. So guys, I feel like the tomato paste is not enough because I'm using the small one and I also have the big one. But I just open it, so I'm going to be adding I'm going to be adding some. You okay, guys see. We're adding by 2 tablespoons. I'm going to keep that. This is the remaining. I'm going to keep it in the freezer for another purpose use. So I'm going to mix it together. Miss, 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 miss. Yeah. I'm gonna let the the paste fry in the oil. I'm gonna let it fry for about three minutes. So when I'm missing it, I'm going to open my my no and add it to it. Can you guys see it's frying perfectly it smells so good if you have any other seasoning or other ingredients you want to add you can add to it for me I just like adding curry and thyme to my jello fries sometimes I add Chinese spice you know but you can hardly see me adding it so to make proper Nigerian jello fries you just need curry and thyme that's all you need to be honest. If there are someone that you want to add extra, you can feel free to add. So now, as you guys can see, it's cooked. So now I'm going to add the tomato, the pepper that will boil. There's no tomato. I did not use tomato when I was blending the pepper. You guys you saw it. It's just onion, bell pepper, and the long pepper and scotch bonnet and onions. So guys this is it can you guys see this is the pot i'm showing you guys the whole pot so i'm going to i'm going to be adding it so the way i place the camera <laughs> you can barely see anything apart from the one on the cooker so i'm just adding so i don't use tomato to cook jollof rice anymore i used to those of you that used to watch my recipe my jollof rice recipe you know i normally blend tomato with the peppers but when i discovered this recipe 
trust me you will enjoy it it is delicious and one thing i like about it it will not make your jollof fries go sour you know sometimes when you cook your when you cook jollof fry you notice that jollof fries is sour it's not like you don't know how to cook jollof fries so it's the tomato you are using so when you just use pepper onions like the way i'm showing you guys and you use tomato paste your jollof fries will be so sweet so delicious eh but if you are using tomato plum fresh tomatoes mm, you'll be love fisher huh? but sometimes me when i make jollof fries those days when i use when i used to use tomato sometimes my jollof fries will be sour and i used to get really angry because i don't like sour jollof fries i like my jollof fries to be nice and sweet and delicious you know i'm always so upset but since i discovered this method i don't have any regrets since then you know so i'm just going to fry this for maybe like two to three minutes and i'm going to taste it to see mm, you need that salt mm, it's so sweet you need salt but i'll be using aromat i show earlier to replace with salt you don't have aromat you can use salt to replace okay so you can see add um about one two three four five five um no so the sauce because i want the sauce to be sweet because this is jollof rice sauce i'm making this is jollof rice gravy so i might not need to add any more seasoning when i'm making the jollof rice so can you guys see yep so this is how i normally make my jollof rice gravy you guys see and um, when you are making the rice when you're pouring the gravy in your rice you see that the oil is too much you just take the oil you take all the excess oil out you can keep it to use it to fry egg or use it for stew or use it for any other thing okay but we need more of the oil in the sauce so that the sauce will be able to fry okay so it doesn't mean because the oil is this this is how i'm just going to pour with the oil inside the rice no i'll take the essence if the oil is too much can you guys see that yeah that is how you make your jello fries gravy so that is it in this video thank you so much for watching i have a jello fries recipe you can check out all my jello fries recipes and i'll see you guys in my next recipe video bye guys merry christmas